Oh, hello there folks, how are you? It's lovely to see you again and happy Valentine's to you and I hope you've all had a smashing day, whether you're on your own or with your loved one, yeah. So yeah, I hope you've had a wonderful day, however you've decided to spend it and a very warm welcome back to what's for tea and our meals of the week this week. And if you're new and this is your first time here, my name's Cheryl, this is What's For Tea and it's just a wee look of the, you know, the dinners that I've made for the family during the week. I always start off on Monday all the way through till today which is Sunday and I've got a selection of your comments from my videos just at the end. So if you've commented my videos this week, make sure to hang on till then just to see if your comment comes up. Any meals that I've done a video on that feature in Meals of the Week, you'll always see in the description box underneath the video as well. So let's go and show you what I made this week. Start and all the way back on Monday. So on Monday we had fish cakes. These are just the Sainsbury's fish cakes. So it's like cod and mashed potato all mixed together. And there's a melt in the middle sauce in there and also some breadcrumbs around it. And we had some chips, some tartar sauce and a wedge of lemon as well. Sometimes we have peas, but we didn't have peas this time. And moving on to Tuesday, something else we love, but I haven't had for a wee while is macaroni cheese. And as you can see, it's going lovely and crispy on the top with the, the cheese, obviously, that you put on the top. Top. And we also had some cauliflower, which I think goes great with cheese sauce and also a wee bit of parsley on top of that. One of our favourites, that. And then on Wednesday, we had beef stir fry with no noodles because I didn't actually have any noodles. I have picked up some noodles. I got some noodles the other day, which you'll have seen in my shopping haul, but I didn't have any noodles as this video went out. So yeah, a simple beef stir fry. Moving on to Thursday and with individual steak pies. So these are from the local butcher and it's just a puff pastry with a sort of beef stew in the middle and we had some oven roasted potatoes and there's the peas. <laughs> we had some peas and that's just some instant gravy on the top and this is lovely for a chilly winter night and we all love a pie, don't we? Moving on to Friday, another pie, but a different one. This is a chicken and mushroom pie. So it's some mashed potato because, yeah, we love mashed potatoes. Some mashed swede or turnip, depending on how you like to say it. Some cabbage, and that's a very creamy sort of chicken mushroom stew with some puff pastry on top of that. And that was delicious. Then moving on to yesterday and we got a takeaway. So this was my takeaway. This was from the local Indian takeaway. I had some plain rice with a chicken madras and that's a, just a very spicy chicken curry with all those wonderful Indian spices and it was absolutely amazing. But it was a bit on the hot side, but I like a hot curry. But for me, even, you know, it was getting a wee bit too warm near the end. And moving on to today, I made cottage pie. This was just some minced beef from the local butcher. And I have got a recipe for cottage pie. I will leave in the description box. And we just had some broccoli at the side. And this is it just out of the oven. You can see it spilling up over the top there. <laughs> But just before I move on, I wanted to say a big thank you to the supporters of the channel over my Patreon page and to the new channel members here on YouTube as well. So thank you once again, guys. And if you're leaving at this point, thank you all very much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you during the week or even next week for another Meals of the Week. And don't, you know, don't forget to subscribe just on your way out if you do like these kinds of videos. But this is just a very small selection of your comments that you left on my video from during the week. So let's go and see what you're saying this week. Starting off, I think, with the snack subscription box. Your first comment is from Sharon Hill. Hi, Sharon. She's written, it's amazing to see what other countries have as snacks. And I completely agree. She's referring to the snack subscription box that I got. That's a different country every month. This month it was uh, Taiwan, I believe. Yeah, Taiwan. And yet there's some crazy snacks in there. <laughs> but yet it is, you know, fascinating to see what other countries do consider snacks. I mean, in there you had seaweed and what else? I, th I think there was some squid in there. Not things I think are going to be for us, but yeah, it's still interesting, I think, to see. So thank you very much for your comment. Your next comment is from the Irish foodie. Hi there. They've written, wow, that squid snack looks fascinating. And again, referring to the snack box that I got, yeah, definitely 
does look fascinating, but I don't think any of us are brave enough to give that one a try. And somebody did say, you know, why don't you just try it? How are you going to know if you don't try it? I just know I'm not going to like that. And nobody else has volunteered to try it either. But yes, yeah, still, you know, it's still interesting getting them. So thanks for your comment. The next comment's from Michelle Barth. You're Scottish, you eat haggis. You're brave and adventurous. Try the squid. It's probably delicious. Go on, try it. And like I just said, no, not one we're going to be trying. But you're right, though. I mean, yeah, we are Scottish and we do eat haggis, which itself, you know, a lot of people say, oh, no, I couldn't do that when you consider what's in it. But yeah, we do think it's delicious. So you're right. Next comments from Barbara Miller. I love how cheap the food prices are there. And yet, you know, I do get a lot of those comments as well. Barbara saying how much their shopping is compared to what ours is. And I guess we are just used to the prices, you know, but I think I probably would find it quite shocking if I went to like a USA or Canada or somewhere like that, where obviously things are a bit more expensive. But yeah, we're very lucky. So thank you very much for your comment. The next comment's from Texas T. Hi there, love the name. In a pot or slow cooker, shred your rotisserie chicken as much or as little as you like. Add cream cheese, some ranch dressing, shredded cheese, salt and pepper optional and Frank's red hot sauce. Let it get warm and gooey. Serve with crackers, tortilla chips, celery sticks, etc. Super yummy dip. Edit, remove skin. Well, thank you very much for your suggestion and I do think I've got all of those ingredients and that sounds like a fantastic combination of ingredients and I bet it's absolutely delicious and it would be one that would be nice to sit in front of the TV as you say with some tortilla chips or celery or something like that and just dip away while you're watching a movie so thank you very much for bringing that one to my attention I think I'll be giving that one a go very soon the next comment is from Sheena McLean. Uh, I'm guessing you're Scottish with a name like that. <laughs> so as soon as I saw the bran flakes in the opening shot, I said to myself, they're for Mr. What's for Tea, haha. <laughs> and you're absolutely right. He is the only one that likes the bran flakes, but he has quite big bowls of them, so they don't last all that long. And the, the box that I got this week was actually a smaller box than normal. So you're lucky if that'll last the week. But yeah, he is the only one that likes them. I'm certainly not a fan. I do like muesli and things like that but I've never been able to get into brand flakes it's just not my cup of tea but thank you very much for your comment and thank you all for your wonderful comments this week I would love to respond to them all but as you can imagine there are so many now that there are more and more of you every day and I think we're we're edging ever closer to that 90,000 subscriber milestone which is absolutely crazy to me I just seem to there are just hundreds of you more of you and more of you every you know every week and I'm just so grateful and so appreciative that you're here and so many of you are deciding to subscribe but would you believe 80% that's eight zero. Eighty percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So that you know, that just gives you an idea of how many people are actually watching the videos, which again blows my mind. If you're not following me over on Instagram, why not follow me over there as well? It's just what's for T three if you're looking for me. You know, it'd be lovely to see you over there. So thank you very much for watching, as I said, and hopefully I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe or shopping haul or something else that I decide to throw in and you have yourself a wonderful rest of your day and rest of your week take care and bye for now bye now